You know, dance may well be one of the oldest art forms. People have been expressing themselves through movement since way before the invention of musical instruments, even before people started using a written language. Dance probably began its development with people imitating animals and telling stories through movement. Dance is known to every culture in the world, and there are more types of dance than you can ever imagine. Thousands of folk dances from every possible corner of the earth, as well as types of dance that we know in modern times like tap, ballet, and the popular dances that you do with your friends. People dance for many different reasons. It's a way to express all kinds of feelings. And dances can be religious, celebrate special occasions, or they can just be social, a way to meet the neighbors. Some people dance in groups, some dance alone. Let's start with a solo from the Ivory Coast of Africa. What kind of dancing do we have that looks like this? Flamenco dancing was created hundreds of years ago by gypsies in southern Spain. At its heart is the canta ando, or song, usually one with a great deal of emotion. The smooth expressiveness of the hands contrasts with the clicking footwork. Expressive hand movements are also an important part of this dance from Cambodia. The dance unfolds slowly and the movements are very smooth.
This is a different kind of dance done by the Klingit Indians of Southeast Alaska. Most of the movement in this dance is in the upper body, and the performers are accompanied by drumming and singing. You may recognize the hula from Hawaii. Hula simply means dance. It's accompanied by a chant called a mele. This is a dance of welcoming and greeting. Polish folk dances are the basis of this colorful production. Like many dances performed by groups, patterns are created as the dancers perform their various parts. Have you ever wondered how dancers know which steps come when? Some dances have been passed along and preserved solely by tradition. Parents teaching children generation after generation. But many newer dances are so complicated that a system for writing them down had to be invented so they could be taught and not be forgotten. Ballet is a kind of dance that often uses one of these written systems. It's danced in costume on a stage and frequently tells a story. Russian ballet companies are among the most famous in the world. Let's take a look at a great Russian dancer who is known not only for his skill, but for his amazing athletic approach to the art.
Here's another carefully planned dance, some of which is done while sitting down. The steps look something like ballet, but the dancers are wearing tap shoes instead of ballet shoes. Dancers spend a lot of time preparing their art, memorizing steps and patterns, rehearsing moves over and over again. They work very hard to keep their bodies limber and in shape, exactly as an athlete might. The next time you dance, think about how ancient the idea of dancing is and how people everywhere are still finding new ways to express themselves through movement. Lo tiro al 